This is a Series 4 de-atomizer. Yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. But this is not for you. What you get is the noisy cricket. Are you kidding me? I feel like I'm gonna break this damn thing. Hey, what's up YouTube land? Emgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing a doggy bag full of third-party goodness. That's right, today we will be reviewing Defense Project Sidearm. So here we are, and there it is. A very nice little accessory that Fence Project gave us, and I cannot be happier with it. Now we'll take a quick look at the packaging here. As you can see, it comes in a little red and black doggy bag. Which, that's what I think of when I see this. It just, it just looks like, I'm getting a little full. Can I get this sidearm to go? You know, that's just, I don't know why. That's just what I think of when I see this. But one funny thing is, if you look up here, it says, City Commander add-on set, which obviously this is not. And that was their little mistake. And they rectified it by sending us a replacement doggy bag that actually has the right name on it. I mean, it, it, it's... Cool. I mean, I really could care less what the baggie says on it, just so long as I get my toy. So, you know, it's nice that they decided to rectify the mistake, but it's really, I really could care less. But you just open it up. And you pull this out. And here you get a little plastic bag with your sidearm and some chromed wing bits for your protector armor in case you want to go the Henke route. I'll just dump all that out. And you also get some uh, instructions here, how to transform him, how to connect the chromed bits to your protector armor, the crossbow mode, and whatnot. And that's pretty much it, packaging-wise. Like I said, they give you little chromed bits for the protector armor, in case you have the Henke version, which, as you can see, Mines have a ton of fingerprints on them already, but yeah, what are you going to do? That's the way Chrome works. But on to Sidearm, who is an homage to Firebolt, the G1 Target Master. Very nice. You know, for, for being a, a little guy, he's actually quite cool. Um, articulation, his arms can do a 360, he has a elbow... He does have a, I guess, an ab crunch, but that's more for transformation. Hips are on a ball joint, and that's pretty much it for articulation. Pretty nice, though. A little small, compact robot. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. When they transform him, he just lift his arms up, bring them together, and yes, he does the, you can't see me now, he does that thing. You put his arms together, then you make him do the limbo. You bend them all the way back, and you bring this whole section up, and these legs will just clip in under his shoulders. And a little bit of fiddling, just to kind of straighten everything out. And there you have Sidearm in his gun mode, which again, very indicative of his G1 self. A little double-barreled pistol. Very cool. And if you bring in Hot Rod... See, he has a little notch right there, and you just take that, and you just slide it on to Hot Rod Spoiler. So he has a nice mounted weapon there in his alt mode. This looks pretty cool. And of course he does have the, the crossbow mode. Now, I honestly wouldn't recommend that you use the chromed wings for the crossbow mode, only because Number one, they're a little too thick because of the chrome, and they don't fit into this little groove right here. They just they just won't stay in, and even if they did, I still wouldn't use these chromed ones because after a while, you'll just wear that chrome off, and I like my chrome. I don't want to damage my chrome. So, I would actually recommend you use the regular wings that come with your protector armor because these actually will stay in, and they'll stay in quite well. And there you got your your crossbow mode, which is pretty cool. I mean, obviously it makes the gun a lot bulkier, but it's still, it makes for a cool look. 
Why not? Dare I say why not? Right now we'll take Hot Rod and we'll transform him real quick. And here we have Hot Rod transformed. So basically, you got two handles here. You have this handle, which Hot Rod will use, and this handle, which the protector armor will use. Now you're going to use this one. Now the only downside is the fact that these two handles are the exact same size. So unfortunately, he can't hold this gun right. And I'm going to take the wings off because they get in the way. But yeah, he can't, he, he can't hold it right with the handle just because this one gets in the way. So what you end up having to do is you have to take his hand and bend it in. And that's the only way you'll hold the gun. It's like that. I mean, and when you look at it straight on, you know, if he's holding the gun at his side, you can't tell that he's actually, you know, holding the gun like that. So, it, it's a very minor little gripe, but it's really not enough to make me hate on the toy. I, I still like it. I still think it looks cool. And you can add the little wings again if you want to. Oh, now you don't want to stay on. How dare you! How dare you not stay on? There you go. You have the crossbow. Again, it makes the gun a little bulky and <laughs> a little harder for him to hold, but... Hey. Why not? It's totally up to you how you want to display it. But... I do actually like this guy very much. Transformation is a snap. Boom! There he is, right back in his robot mode. Now, don't get me wrong here, people. Just because he's small doesn't mean that he can't take care of himself. Because let me tell you, this little guy, he can take care of himself. Suicide arm, because I can't legally call you Firebolt. Do you really think you have what it takes to defeat me? I've defeated bigger and badder than you, Nightstick. Let's see how tough you really are! Yeah! Bring it on! Yeah! Nightstick, will you stop messing around with that puny little Autobot? We've got work to do. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, it seems as though you're outmanned and outgunned, little one. Not if I have anything to say about it, Cyclonus. Hot Rod! Sidearm! Because I can't legally call you Firebolt. Shoot me! Well, I guess we showed them. That's right. Now let's go get some martinis. I'm not going to Darkmount's house. Not while Skullgren is there, anyway. He's a little high strung. No, oh, that sucked. I told you. I told you he could take care of himself. And apparently he really likes martinis. I don't know why. Well, anyway, for some comparisons here, here we have him, next to his arch nemesis, Nightstick, and here he is next to Pinpoint, a Power Core Combiner Minicon, and there you can kind of get an idea of how he stacks up with his other miniature robot brethren. And, uh, yeah, I think he's a really cool toy, and for $10... 
I think he's great. He is definitely the cheapest third-party toy that you will find on the market right now. And um, he's definitely worth it. I would definitely say pick him up. I really like him. So I think he's definitely worth the grab. And for only 10 bucks, people, 10 bucks, you can't beat that. So I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is Defense Project Sidearm. And this is MGO. Rolling out.